are so thank y'all. I'm so grateful because my hair used to look like this four years ago in quarantine. This is green tea. And then I also got this organic pineapple mango ginger tea. I think this is like kind of a lot of tea bags time, this tiny little thing, but that's what my heart desires. And I do what my heart desires. I'm not song if you took it now with me. I ain't got it. I'm in skimming, new it. I ain't your body. Song if you dreaming about me, ain't no problem. I don't got nobody just with you right now. About to perform a speech from my public speaking class on Zoom. We have to just make it up really quick. So the idea was basically we have to explain either cybersecurity or AI to a seven-year-old. So that's what I'm about to do. Action. <laughs> Who here likes YouTube Kids? Me. Yes. Ah, me too. What about Paw Patrol? Yes. 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 Oh my gosh. Actually, my favorite thing. So I was watching Paw Patrol on YouTube Kids, and I've been obsessed with these race car little buggy things that I can just skirt around with the floor all day in my playroom. And then this link popped up for me to get a free race car. And then I clicked on it, and then my entire iPad went black. And I was so scared. And then my mom told me that I got hacked. I didn't even know what hacked means. Like, hacked. Hacked means that everyone takes all of your information. So when you click on those links, your cybersecurity has officially been breached. And cybersecurity is the little technicals behind it, so people don't take your information. So when you use YouTube Kids and you ever see a weird link pop up to buy a free race car, it's not free, babes. It's not free. So don't click on it and just keep watching Paw Patrol. I, I actually have so much anxiety. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I get nervous, but I do it anyway. Like, I would rather go first. I thought I was going to throw up, and this is on Zoom. I'm literally talking on Zoom, but I get nervous because of my fear of being perceived, truly. Ah, I'm really so happy right now. But I just feel like I did so good. I got a 98 on my freaking um, intro speech in my public speaking class. I love my public speaking class because I can tie it back into content creation and I can feel comfortable when I have to speak in front of large groups because I already know where my life is destined to go and where I'm going to be, period. So, preparing myself now for those type of situations. Whoa! So excited! Right now, oh! <laughs> I'm about to have a three hour class, y'all, on Zoom. And this class is kind of dreadful. It's like a lot of the stuff is relevant. It's a law class. So I learned like contracts and like how to like read cases and briefs and problems and solutions, which is really cool and really interesting. Like I love it. But dude, class being necessary to be three hours is an unnecessary. We're just vibing. We're just freaking vibing. Finish some homework during my other class. I genuinely feel like everything that I do in my everyday life today, what I share on my social medias, how I interact with my friends, all of that is genuine. But when it comes to, I need to post on social media today, this and the third, the fear of perception and perfection. Oh wait, the, is it the, the fear of perception? I'm not sure. Please correct me if I'm incorrect. But the fear of perception and my inner perfectionist fight each other. Honestly, they tag team and then jump me. I swear. I swear. It's in my brain. <laughs> so, like, an example is, say I want to post a TikTok, right? Or I want to post a YouTube video, like today. I get so stuck in the, this needs to be perfect. I watched a million videos on social media because I'm literally obsessed with it, but I took the knowledge that I was learning through those, from those videos and like fully backfired on myself. And now, every single time that I'm filming a day in the life, I film it exactly the same and in this exact order that these people are telling me to do on YouTube. And rather than taking the suggestion and the idea and then putting my Charlie Rose spin on it and making it my own, I literally took the exact idea and I took that as a form of perfection. This is the form of perfection and this is the only way that I'm going to go viral or whatever. Which is incorrect. That is incorrect. And I was coming from a place of, want, of being so desperate to go viral and to have a million likes and do all this shit. But babes, it's not all that sweet. So... At the end of the day, I'm just conquering my fear of being perceived and perfection by filming this video. <laughs> Camera's dead. 
and I have a three hour class. So I'll see you after. It's been three hours. It's been three hours. Oh my god. Ooh, my body hurts and things. So I'm about to go outside, go to the, head to the grocery store. I'm gonna get my bags ready so I can go back to college. Like almost every weekend I'm coming home. So it looks like I'm like moving back in. They're like, uh I'll be coming in with my bags, like I just moved out. But I just combed out my hair and I'm just like, I'm gonna just wear her like this today. Let's get ready. Let's look cute. Look the better you look, the better you feel. Look at a woman, man. Look at her. That ain't my, that ain't my, that ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive with her. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey, sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Okay, this is literally my outfit to go to the store, so let's go. But it has cabbage, pears, pineapples, parsley, mitten, ginger root, fire. And then pairing that with some pineapples. Yeah, maybe like sea scallops. Mm. I love the kombucha section. It's so colorful over here. Is that used to like yerba? Yerba tea is actually so good. I had it at a thrift to death event, and I really enjoyed it, honestly. I don't think I need to take because I already got a drink. That's my problem. I just keep buying. Is there anything else I want to make for buy? <laughs> Let me get out of here. It's such good lighting right now, right here. And I'm feeling so grateful as, well, Siri, no one's talking to me. I'm feeling so grateful as to, about just how comfortable I am with my hair. And how I'm able to just walk around, not give a fuck, because I used to care a lot. So I'm just grateful to be where I'm at right now in life, because what? Ever evolving, ever changing, like, <laughs> oh, we're cute. Let's go.